Lots of questions, including whether Stephen Paddock planned a getaway. Let's go to Trace Gallagher for more on that. Trace. Jesse, the sheriff is now on the record saying that he believes Stephen Paddock had an accomplice. What's interesting about that is we know in the run-up to this attack inside the Mandalay Bay Hotel that Stephen Paddock was gambling very heavy in the days before that, sometimes seven, eight hours at a time. And there are now numerous reports saying that while he was gambling, he was with a female companion who was not his girlfriend. The police are now trying to track down that female companion. We have also confirmed that Stephen Paddock did, in fact, rent a room in Chicago in August, the same time as the Lollapalooza concert. The hotel, the Blackstone, is a 21-story hotel that overlooks Grant Park, where the concert was being held. The hotel confirmed that he did make a reservation, though he did not show up for the reservation. We have also confirmed that, in fact, Stephen Paddock booked a hotel room in downtown Las Vegas the week before this shooting at another event, a hotel that overlooks the Life is Beautiful concert down there. And we should note that police think the shooter was in all of this trying to get out of it a lot. All right, well, a lot to digest. Dana, we'll go to you first. Uh, several targets that he talked about, Fenway Park, Chicago, another event in Las Vegas earlier. What does that tell you? Well, it does, I guess, point to a lot of the premeditation and that it wasn't spontaneous right. and that it wasn't necessarily targeting country music fans, per se, if he was looking at other possible venues for maybe just looking for large urban centers that had a lot of people that were not going to be able to run from if he had a vantage point that was higher than him. I think there's just, um, it's, I, the, I think the investigators are doing an amazing job. I also think they're completely overwhelmed and the public is wanting answers and they can't necessarily provide them right away. They're getting closer. The fact that we know now that he was at least seen with another woman mm -hmm. at the time. Hopefully they can track her down and find out some more information. Um, in addition to that, I also think that when the investigators have been speaking, it's clear that they have more mm -hmm. than they can say. Right. Interested and in Gutfeld is this woman that he was seen with. And that reminds me of the conversation you and I had about that woman in the local news report who, I guess, told someone you're all going to die soon. Yeah. Do you think that possibly could have been the same woman? I don't know. It's hard in Vegas when you say there is a man seen with an unidentified woman. <laughs> it's not, Vegas. Not, it could, that was not his wife? That was not his wife. And over two weeks ago, Paddock sent Danley to the Philippines and wired her over $100,000, she says, for a new house. And authorities are also investigating his alleged contacts with a different woman shortly before his rampage.